Cause this is killer, get it, kill it. I thought it was going better than that. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions here. It's of Corbin. I'm stupid. And follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon, follow us on Twitter, account, the account, link above, on the Gage Squad. Bam! Follow us on our personal YouTube channels. He's got one, I got one. Yep, we've got one. I've got some serious international stuff coming up right oh, yeah? now. I looked up all of the films that are in the running for Globes and oh, Oscars. Fun, 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 fun. There's at least a hundred that people are talking about. You got a lot of work. Got a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, but today we are doing a movie review. As we do often on this channel. Twice a week usually. Uh, sometimes more if something new releases. And Corbin, what exactly is going on behind us? Oh. That's something the stupid family made Isn't that uh, awesome? for Classic Month, which is either here or coming up or past us, depending on when you see this video. <laughs> yes, because we don't know when you're watching this video. <laughs> but February of 2021 or do is we? Classic Month. We are only watching, in terms of just film, uh, we are only watching classic films. If you're watching this on January 18th, 2023, hi. Hi. Nice to see you. Um... But, yes, we are reviewing a Marathi film Yes. called Kila. Yes. Uh, it's, a I believe, a 2014 film, and also this correct. is the um, Patreon regional selection of the month. Hey, what's it, that? What, what is that, Corbin Miles? Every month, uh, all Patreon members, regardless from a dollar tier on up, get to take part in a recommendation, and then I take the top four recommendations from the regional and the Hindi, and they all go into a poll, and we watch or one regional or one Hindi that they choose. Wait, what? If you're on Patreon, you actually have a say on what we do here on the channel? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Wow, a that's whack. Bit. So this was their regional one for this month. Uh, and I believe it's our, f or I think, fifth uh, Marathi film? I just put it on the list. I think fifth you're right. Fifth or sixth? I think it's fifth. Okay. Um, but yes, 2014, a comedy drama, more of a coming-of-age story. Yeah. I would say an 11-year-old Indian boy who has just lost his father is forced uh, to adapt to a new uh, school in a small village. It seemed like Kerala to me. Uh, <laughs> this story is about how he copes, uh, copes up. Yeah, that's strange. Cokes just up. How like he cokes up? <laughs> yeah. How this he is, cokes it's up. It's a story about he cokes up. <laughs> and how life has, um, has to move on transforming a young man's mind into an adult day by day. Directed by Avinash Arun. And then starring Amruta Subash and Archit Diodar, uh, as well as a big supporting a cast. Big supporting cast. Uh, and so if you haven't seen it, go watch it. We saw it on Netflix. Short film. I think it's hour 45 or something like that. Yep. Um, so go watch it. We just like to do spoiler reviews here. So, uh, Rick, your initial thoughts. I have a paragraph. Good. You haven't had one in a while. I have. It's been a while. Um, Kila is about people, places, and moments that shape us. How oftentimes we find those we thought were closest to us abandoning us when we felt we needed them most. Mm -hmm. This boy starts the film as shallow and shellfish as a crab. <laughs> Stupid. But ends it <laughs> as deep as the ocean, learning the lessons that life is bigger than any one of us and that if you take a moment to stop and look, you'll begin to not hate life for the transience of things, but appreciate the miracle that's living life in moment-by-moment -moment gratitude for every blessing you are allowed to experience. Mm -hmm. We've had three in a row. Mm -hmm. I, I, the more this movie went on, the more I loved this movie. Yeah, and it's definitely, I, I, I did enjoy the film as well. There's there's honestly not a lot you can find wrong with this film oh. because the locale, I don't know where it was. It looked like Kerala. And also, tell me if that fort is the same fort as in Bombay. It seemed like it, it was sure, to me. Especially when they were up on top of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if, let me know if I'm wrong. That's what it seemed like. I'm sure India has a ton yeah. of forts on, on the ocean. On the water, yeah. <laughs> but they do. Uh, that's what it seemed like to me. So let me know if uh, I'm right. But this is also a first-time director. And this is, the, I believe... And cinematographer. No, he's normally a cinematographer. No, I know. I mean, he did both the direction and cinematography. Okay. Yeah, and he's it more often a cinematographer. Yeah, and this was his first. And then he's, I believe, taken a, a break since then. And now it looks like he has one uh, unpaused... Looks like uh, he is the director of, or one of the directors of Unpaused, which I believe is a Hindi film. Uh, but regardless, yeah, I, I really, I really did enjoy this film. It's, 
If you don't like slow burns, you might not enjoy it. But if you like good cinema and just watching a story, this is a fly on the wall. Uh, I, you might not, you might come away with like, what was the, what was the purpose of that? Yeah, if you if you <laughs> allow yourself to to wander off and think that what you're seeing yeah. doesn't have a purpose behind it, yeah. that could easily happen. But if you pay attention, yeah, um, it definitely had a bunch of messages about a bunch of different things. But also, if you're not paying attention or if you just lackadaisically watching it because you're you're bored because the it's not an action filled story you, you might miss it but there's there's a lot to be said about this film and i think he did a brilliant job in terms of just writing in terms of obviously cinematography <laughs> it was not hard to make this film beautiful it was really but well some of his shots come being a cinematographer first you could tell that they were just they were absolutely gorgeous. But then also, you, you love the story arc. It was similar to almost an Apu uh, similar story arc uh, in terms of the child being an asshole for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then finding his way and then, you know, befriending, you know, um, animal cruelty children. Uh, <laughs> Yep. That was that was hard for me to get. That, oh, I knew you at the beginning. I knew you'd I hate like, that at the beginning. What is going on? Yeah. I knew <laughs> How you'd hate that? Dare you? Destroy Not that anybody it. should like it. No. But you have a particular. But then obviously it, it got into more of the friendship story of, mm -hmm. of of a kid and his friends, and then him dealing with the fact that um, you know he's he's finally got these friends. They hurt him, but then they're stronger together. And then he's like, now I have to do this. Now I have to do this again. Yep. I. I actually thought something was going to happen to him the entire time. I was waiting for the proverbial, like, um... Death or... Yeah, death or, like, similar to... For a while, I thought it was going, like, um... Um... God, why am I forgetting the name of the film? They walk on the train tracks. Uh, stand By Me. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought it was going, okay. like, a, a yeah. Stand By Me kind of way. It yeah. didn't. Uh, but, yeah. It was... uh, I, I... There's a lot. I think if you... If... I could relate to this movie in a million ways, in ways not everybody could relate. Yeah. Uh, I grew up as an only child raised by my mom. Yeah. Um, I never went to the same school two years in a row. Really? Like, until I hit high school. Really? So, yeah. and when I was his age, it was the first time I ever got grounded in a particular place when my mom and I were living on Delano Street in Van Nuys. Mm -hmm. And the buddies that I hung out with, it was one of those, hi mom, I'll be back for dinner. And you, you know, you were out on a Saturday morning and then you were not back till dark and we could go miles away from home. And it was just me, Enrique, Lino, Chacho, Miguel, all hanging out together. And I vividly, I mean, I still remember their names. Mm -hmm. And that aspect of hanging out with your buddies and then leaving that and having, if, if you haven't had stuff ripped from your life that you wished could stay there, whether it was a, a parent who died or a loved one or something, you won't relate to this as well. And I, and I thought the 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 realization he comes to and literally that parallel between the shellfish the yeah. crab mm -hmm. he he learns the difference between uh being a, a selfish person mm -hmm. and then from the fisherman he gets the larger view which interestingly is out away from where he's living he gets the, he gets a literal larger perspective by going outside of where he's typically from and looking at it from the outside in with this man who's the only real male figure you see that he has any kind of an affinity toward in some mm -hmm. way, and obviously his dad's not there. Which was a great scene, and they didn't say much. Great it's, scene. Yeah. That's the other thing is, the writing in this was so good. Mm -hmm. This movie feels like, in every way, the pacing of it and what it does with your imagination, it felt like a book. Yeah. It really feels like a book presented, and a picture paints a thousand words. Uh, two notable things I want to point out. The first one is... Amruta Subash. The, the mom. The mom. Which we've seen before. We, we have. We've seen her in two places. Sacred Games and Gully Boy. Yes. Yeah. And she simultaneously conveys the courage and strength of a single mom. Yeah. As well as the fears and vulnerabilities of a single mom. And she does it with an effortless presence as believable as anybody I've seen in Indian cinema. I, I thought she was beautiful yeah she did this she role. did a really good job that 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 scene where after stuff happened to him and then uh he was all rude right yeah and then he just came home and she was kind of yelling at him and he just went up and hugged her yeah and said i'm sorry yeah and i loved i loved that he everything didn't there wasn't uh nothing was formulaic he came about the realizations he did 
seemingly in real time. Yeah. I mean, it's a short film, but it feels long. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It feels like we actually get to live through this season of his life with him. And I found the last moment to be a really perfect button on the end of the whole thing because it conveys the adult perspective. So immaturity is the ultimate sign of, uh, I mean, selfishness is the ultimate sign of immaturity. Mm -hmm. And most of us, yours truly included, when we're kids, we think the world revolves around us. And when our world gets screwed up, we don't see anything else and we blame our mom. And one of the things that's thought the hallmark of maturing is recognizing the world doesn't revolve around you and that other people are going through stuff too. And he realizes that with his mom. He also realizes that with his buddies. It's no mm -hmm. longer about the fact that it's just about him. And it isn't what happens to us, it's how we respond to that. Because you can't control your circumstances, but you can control how you respond to it. Mm -hmm. And the difference between a mature, optimistic person and an immature, pessimistic person is the way you view your circumstances. And in the end, he could have easily become an embittered young man who just blames his mom for life screwing him up and his friends were taken away. But instead, he has this like wiseness beyond his years looking at his buddies and rather than hate the fact it's his last moment with them yeah he embraces the fact that this is his last moment with them yeah and and relishes the fact of wow i may never get to experience this again versus i'm not jumping in because my friends are getting taken away yeah you know that's my favorite thing about the film yeah the and i want to applaud obviously everybody did really well but once again as we always say it's so difficult to get children to act incredibly well we've seen actually quite a bit in indian cinema great kid actors and this is no different they yeah. all the i believed every single one of them i believe that they weren't it, it almost seemed like they weren't even acting for the screen which is a testament to them and the director mostly uh, uh, i can't think of another film i've seen that has a better child cast uh, my favorite child acting well, cast the, the film. one with Rima Das, the the village rock stars, and and um, yeah, Bulbul can say. But there was more. This movie hinged even more on these guys, and I especially applaud. Like, okay, so I put down as we're going. I'm keeping track of the things that I think I want to have nominated next year. Right on my list, maybe getting knocked off at some point with other roles, but uh, where where's his name? Right here, da, 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 da. Uh, Partha Bilaro. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing his name. He's the the young friend who's sticking the gasoline up the dog's butt. Oh, yeah, that kid. Yeah, he did really well. I just hated him. Uh, he <laughs> even the, even just the I believed I had no doubt. But I, I had no doubt we were watching kids in class. Yeah. No doubt. I definitely, I've known kids like every single one of these friends. Oh, yeah. Like, their their roles in the friend group. Yes. Uh, who's like, the leader? Who's yeah. the clown? Yeah, who's the clown? Who's the, the, the one that's the go-getter? Who's the smart one? Who's yeah, the, who's the one who cheats in class? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it was really a testament to the director. And also, I love that little message at the end. It was like, to my parents. I love that, too. <laughs> I wrote that down as well. He was like... He was the dick as a yeah. kid. <laughs> and he, obviously, when you get older, because when you're a kid, everybody thinks that, you know, if something happens to you, this is the end of the world. I'm never going to treat my kids like this. Right. I'm never going <laughs> to spank my kids. Yeah. I'm, I'm never going to. I'll never do to them what they did to me. Yeah. And then yeah. You, when you get older, you're like, oh, no, they, they were right. Right. That was, that was good. I'm glad they, <laughs> yes. I'm glad they taught me that lesson. Yes. Uh, and so, once again, the testament to the, it was like, like I said, I can't really find anything wrong with this style of film. Uh, outside of if you just don't like slow films, yeah. you might not enjoy it, but that's not a flaw with the film. No. That's a flaw with your taste. Um, yeah. Oh, the score. Oh, yeah. The, the score was Often very subtle, gorgeous. but it was really, really good. Score was absolutely gorgeous. And it really, I, I admit that I will have an affinity for this in ways I didn't for say the last two we've seen that we've loved, which is The Great Indian Kitchen and Parched. Because mm -hmm. all three of these are just like back to back to back home yeah, runs. We're having some great Yeah, back to back here. to back home runs. And they go so well together, it's really strange. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, the only child aspect, I remember my favorite gift I ever got as a child when I was about his age, I was about 11 years old, and I got the dream gift I wanted, which was a mongoose dirt bike. Mm. And being able to take that mongoose dirt bike out with my buddies and go biking all over the place and doing races and those kinds of things. And not having my dad around because my mom and dad had divorced. So I only got to see my dad every other weekend. And the, the 
a different relationship he had with his mom, which I, that's a bunny trail to go down. He had a very different relationship than I had with my mom. Mm -hmm. But there's so much about that that I could relate to, being the new kid, making the friends, being taken away. Um, and then the, it's just, I, the more I watched it, the more I loved it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I can't find anything wrong with it. Yeah, it's, it was an absolutely really good film. Also, we really haven't had a bad Marathi film. No. I'm, I'm looking at our playlist right now. So this is the fifth, I believe. So obviously we're going to be watching a lot more. But um, we've had, I'm sure obviously there's one that especially you have liked more than others. Mm -hmm. But uh, Natsamrat, Sairat. Uh, the factory, mm -hmm. uh, the court, and, and, court. Then, and then and this one. Yeah, I've, I think probably my least favorite is probably the not some rot one, uh, which, which is kind of not yeah fair. But I would agree. Yeah, totally. But it's it was no, definitely not uh, Nina Patekar's fault in that one. Uh, I think it was just the the film itself mm -hmm. didn't it was didn't speak to me as much. Yeah, but uh, it was still good. But every every single other one has been really good especially in my opinion uh i know you especially loved i love factory factory i know you liked court a I lot court and a obviously lot. this one and i know you liked yeah. side you just didn't love it as much as i did correct um and i would for me it would be difficult for me because there's such different films whereas factory is a celebration of things cinema those always hold you know it's like birdman or hugo these things that are celebratory of the art form yeah versus a story like this one i'd be hard pressed to say which one's my favorite of these two yeah but i will say this i i, I was as i was watching this movie toward the end and just relishing in the score and the direction and the cinematography <clears throat> and the beautiful performances of these kids i was i, I it really was for me it, this may possibly be like a switchover because i Granted, we're watching more Indian films than I'm watching any other country right now. It's, yeah. Right? Yeah. However, yeah. including the United States. <laughs> of what I'm seeing come out of the United States, coming out of Hollywood, uh, India's telling better stories. But well, India's telling better well, universal yeah. truth human stories. But here's the issue. We're picking and choosing some of the best from each year. I know, but I'm talking about As the stuff in just, the past couple of years that have yeah. made it to the award ceremonies. It depends. I've, uh, we've said we've had some really great stuff. Uh, yeah. But yeah. But I, as a whole, yeah, I just am getting far more. Uh, I mean, the past three we just watched were one, two, three, where I was like, "Wow, what a beautiful film!" I can't remember the last time I saw three films out of Hollywood that I said beautiful film. Three in a row. Three in a row? Three in a row. But, you know, once again, we usually watch them, that, the new ones that come out this year. We're going through their entire history. And Even when I watch best. SAG screeners. Yeah, but I'm, once again, those are just those years? Yeah. As opposed to these, this was those 2014 films. So we yeah. picked out a great film from 2014. The next yeah. time we're going to pick out a great film from 2017. To, yeah. So it's, it's, it's not really fair, because obviously I could pick a great film from Hollywood from 2014, and then I could pick a great film from set, uh, 2017 sure. to show somebody who's never seen it, sure. and they would think that's the same. So sure. it's, it's not really fair, but I understand what you're saying. Um, like even a film as good, as enjoyable, and as well oh, done we did, as did. Bombshell. Yeah. Or, um, but Peanut Butter Falcon, bro. Peter, Peter Butter Falcon was great. Yeah. But, but compared to, the, like this compared to Peanut Butter Falcon, I like this better than Peanut Butter Falcon. I could watch Peanut Butter Falcon more. Oh, not me. Yeah, I loved Peanut Butter. Well, uh, Shia LaBeouf has some stuff right now, which is really sad. But yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> which makes it really upsetting. It does. Uh, but anyways, that we're off on a buddy trail now. Yeah, sorry. Um, this was great. Uh, let us know what's the next Marathi film we should watch. I know there's a bunch in the can that people, people, Fandry, I know, uh, I think Jogwa was one. I know there's a bunch. And I'll be really excited for both that young man and for mama in this that we've seen in gully boy and sacred games i thought she was yeah absolutely great beautiful let us know which we should watch next down below